Edith Bliss signing off for Wonderworld. Back to you, Simon. <laughs> Edith Bliss there. <laughs> Reporting on the band of ethnic labourers who paint the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> <laughs> and now to our socially responsible series on drugs <laughs> and how they destroy young people's lives. <laughs> drugs can really make a mess of you. Take my faithful pal Woodgrub here. <laughs> he, he's not an old bloodhound at all. He's a baby harp seal that got into cocaine. <laughs> Today, we were going to interview a heroin addict, but he couldn't talk to us because of one of heroin's side effects, rigor mortis. <laughs> so, instead, we're reporting on marijuana, which is sort of a heroin addict's entree. <laughs> I went to King's Cross and spoke to a marijuana user who has to remain anonymous because he can't remember his name. <laughs> Now, Mr. X, uh, what's the worst thing about being a dope addict? Uh, the expense. I spend $150 a day. On marijuana? No, on pizzas. <laughs> yeah. And the other worst thing is the week before the state elections. Why? It's the only time the police ever raid you. <laughs> So, you've been busted? Yeah. Last time they took a whole glad bag full of Griffith glory that I'd hidden in my grandmother's mattress. How did they find that? Well, they said it was good. <laughs> and how has marijuana affected your life? Well, I'm 25 now and I don't do nothing all day. I'm Never had a job, and my parents won't talk to me because I started smoking dope at 15. So, you've actually wasted 10 years of your life? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I should have started smoking it when I was five. 